All right, Shalom. Out here another day. Sorry for the fire. and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me. A destroying wind. <laughs> so what's that destroying wind? Right, right. That's those nukes, that's those missiles. And Babylon's America. All right, the Babylon means confusion. Look how confused everybody looks out here. Just in a perpetual state of confusion. And I will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land. For in the day of trouble they shall be against her round about. Against him that bit, uh, against him that bendeth, let the archer bend his bow, and against him that lifted himself up in his brigadine. And spare ye not her young men, destroy ye utterly all her hosts. So yeah, I mean. All, all the hosts, all the armies of America, they all gonna be destroyed. And you can see, I mean, the, the army and the military right now is weak as hell. It's the laughing stock of the world. Now they got transsexuals in the army. It's, you know, you can be an open transgender in the military. So you, they're going into war with makeup and lipstick on and shit, you know what I mean? They fucking each other while they in the foxhole. Hey, hey, the military fights fine with you know, those fuck those yeah. Passing out time. See that bitch of a woman with a that was trying out for special forces failing up the building. You know? The women? Yeah. Yeah, they yeah. can't pass these tests. They ain't care. They're gonna have to do like a retard just in the building. Yeah, that's what they're saying. They're gonna lower lower the uh, what do you call it, the regulations of right, right, right. Lower the standards. Yeah, lower the standards. Just so women could be, you know, in the Marines and be in infantry. Just believe, they have a combat, man. They're gonna do something, man. They're gonna leave that bitch and kill them, man. They don't care if they're man. Cause as soon as the bullets start flying, she's screaming. Yep, yep. Giving up their position. Yeah, exactly. That's crazy, man. They're gonna kill them, That's crazy as hell. Right. I mean, that's common sense, though. That's why we know it's by design. Right. Okay, fake ass shit. This is second answer, 15 and 4. Behold. Speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee, that speak against thee, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Yes, all the unfaithful, they're going to die in their unfaithfulness. Like I was arguing with some fool earlier today on the comment board. He's talking about he believes in science. You know what I'm saying? You know, you can't argue against science. But this guy don't even know no science. He got no faith. You know, he's one of those unfaithful. But the, these people, they all said they believe in science and not the Bible. But the, the only science they know is like a documentary that they watched on cable TV. And that's the extent of their education. You know what I mean? But they're experts, right? And they believe, you know, they're science. They're so scientific. I got a scripture. Uh, this is 1 Timothy 6 and 20. 1 Timothy, keep, thy which, keep that which is committed to thy, to thy trust. Avoid profane and vain babbling and opposition of science, false and so forth. Right. That's, that's a vain ass babbling. Oh, yeah, because your boy, uh, this dude I was arguing with today, he tried to hit me with some Neil deGrasse Tyson quotes. Like, you know, like that was oh, a. God, they come. But Neil deGrasse Tyson said the Earth was shaped like a pear, but all the pictures of the Earth are a perfect circle. Right. 
So which one's right? They just making shit up. I mean, because they know people believe anything. Yeah, he's a Freemason. He's a big homosexual too. Which some professing have erred concerning the faith. Great people to get them. Go back to this one. Behold, saith the Lord, I will, this is five, two, two, five. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. Oh, did you hear about that, uh, how they say now the CDC can just, uh, they can just automatically, with no tri uh, no trial, no jury, no nothing, they can just arrest you or uh, detain you if they suspect that you're infected with something. They can just snatch you up and just lock you up. Like that, that, them flags is coming, bro. Yeah. They said that, uh, shit that's going on the is just getting worse and worse. That, uh, diarrhea disease is just getting worse and worse. Diarrhea? It's a diarrhea yeah. disease. Yeah. You know, bacteria that affects you. Uh, 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 damn, I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, because I've seen a lot, yeah, a lot of people saying they had the shits. Yeah, dogs and cats too. Damn. He saw after everybody, he had the whole world. Behold, said the Lord, I will take great plagues against the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Yeah, because when you look around, that's all you see is wickedness. Because wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Because these people, they like pollution, you know what I mean? Y'all worry about the uh, CO2 emissions. Y'all need to worry about the two-thirds emissions. You know what I'm saying? Look at these wicked-ass people polluting the earth. They got, they, got a, they got a physical police, they got a physical, they got a spiritual police. Yep. And they sending out that spiritual, satanic vibration. That's right, that's right. But hey, like most I said, you created one and the two, one against the other, man. You created good against evil, you know? The spirit of the righteousness against the spirit of uh, evil, you know? This is going down, boy. And who will win? Uh, it's already won. That's right. It's playing out, huh? Wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their purple works are fulfilled. Therefore, saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. Yeah, it's, he gonna hold this. We ain't gonna hold our tongue. But like, why would, like you said, the battle's already won. But why would you want to be on the losing team? Okay, that didn't make no sense. I read that again. I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Our people, they profane, they profanely commit this wickedness. Like all women, they just straight out just all, they pretty much admit they're whores. They, they dress like strippers. They out here gyrating in the streets. I got some you know, shit. You know how you see a cat that's in heat, got his ass in the air, rubbing against everything? All women act like that out here in public, bro. They be right here at a Coda bus stop. They start, they just feeling on themselves. They start dancing and shaking and popping their booty in the middle of the street. Bunch of heathens, bro. And this is real too, man. You want to talk about some fucking wickedness, man? The wickedness is supported in high places. You know, our so-called leadership. This is a letter of Hillary Rodman Clinton sent to this bitch who was proud that she was a hoe and proud that she had a uh, uh, just contribute. Just protected her. And that's a letter that Hillary Clinton wrote to her for coming out public in the Bible. Damn. I, 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 gotta, I gotta read it. Let's read it. You know? I gotta hear this. This one. is Hillary Rodden Clinton's letter to this book. Uh, Dear Miss Ella Dawson, Dear Ella, thank you for your brave and insightful piece you published on Medium this week. I guess that must be some uh, website. Try some liberal website. Right. I am so grateful to you for not only speaking out against the stigma surrounding sexually transmitted infections, but for also taking a courageous stand oh, against it's the ridiculous... There's a stigma against them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a because you know, you're not supposed to look down on people with AIDS and shit. Especially if they're doing what they shouldn't be doing against, you know... How did you get it? Right, right, right. But for also taking a courageous stand against the ridiculous but very real barrage of hate you have received online. 
The erosion of civil public discourse is one of the most concerning developments in our society today, as you point out. The internet is not a friendly place for women, and you are not alone in facing the relentless force of the baseless personal attacks. And that's a lie because the internet is very friendly to women. You get on Facebook and you look at every all the women's pictures, they're all Dressed like whores, get, you know, showing off their body, showing off their tits, and they get nothing but love. You might have a couple of dudes who call them a hoe, you know, but for the most, for the part, most they, part, they get nothing but love. But a bitch yeah. posts a selfie on Facebook, she get hundreds of likes, you know, a happy faces, all that. Not mentioning the porno sites that just... Oh, that, that's a total another world. <laughs> that's <a> total... <laughs> that's on some other shit. This is crazy. Oh. Okay, uh, I have found strength in living by Eleanor Roosevelt's admonition that women in politics need skin as thick as a rhinoceros. But I shouldn't take that. And you and I and all women should refuse to let this become the new normal. That's why I won't stay silent about it and why I made promoting love and kindness a central pillar of my campaign. It's going to take all of us working together to restore our discourse and that work starts by calling out the bullies, chief among them, Donald Trump, or whatever, whatever, and the alt right. The uh, alt -right. As I mentioned in my speech, in that's Texas, a new turn again. Alt right. You see that a lot now. There's an old Mexican proverb that says, "Show me with whom you walk, and I will tell you who you are." I'm proud to walk with you, Ella. Gratitude and wishes I am. I'm so proud, proud to walk with her with her herpes, you know. Yeah, let me look up Hillary. What do you, also, what do you think that. Hillary has going on down on her, in her private parts? Man, first of all, I heard she's a hermaphrodite. But you know, she's got all kind of warts and bumps and, you well, know what I'm saying? Imagine, you can imagine. You know, she's highly infected. And yeah, remember, Hillary Clinton's a witch, too. Like what, uh, Hillary Clinton, she's the same one. She had a seance at the White House. Well, when when Bill uh, Clinton was president, they had a seance at the White House, and she said she is summoned up the spirit of Eleanor Roosevelt. The people, they, they don't know about that. Look, listen, I'm typing in the bitch name, Ellen Dawson, before I even spent Dawson, and popped up herpes. Damn. Yeah, herpes is not something you want. Okay, it's not something to be proud of. That's cool, they got a picture here. This is. Yeah, that's her. That's her. Got proud of being a hoe. She says she's proud to be a hoe and that she's proud of having her. How do single lead people with her trust me? Let me see that bitch again. Oh, yeah, Jay, too. Yeah, that's a problem. That's a problem. I'm going to try to actually go with my parents. Okay. My parents are still family. Yeah, that's a they're trying to make all these women comfortable. Oh, it's all right. Come on out. Let's come out, man. And that's why there's no families no more. You know what I mean? You know, it is a very rare to see a father and a mother, you know, a whole family unit, you know, together. You know, you don't even see that no more. It's like the only people that have family still is the Mexicans. You know what I'm saying? Remember when we went down to the Latino festival? And you were actually seeing families down there? It was bugged out. I was like, I ain't never seen that before. Where did they got, you know, a whole family unit set? But these women, they protected by the government, too. Because if they leave their husband, if the husband tries to stop her, she can just call the cops and they'll come and save the hoe. You know what I mean? Because a woman is a man's property. All right. Why this woman celebrates the day she was diagnosed with herpes? That's nasty, man. They are women are defiled. Revelation 18 and 5. For his sins have reached unto heaven, and God have remembered her iniquity. He rewarded her, even as she rewarded you, and double unto her, double unto her. Works. So that her is talking about Great Babylon, which is America. You know, it's the kingdom of Satan, the Esau's kingdom. And the sins, they reach up into heaven. Like the most, I don't see all this going down. 
So this shit gotta be destroyed. That's all there is to it. And what did the Most High do to the ancient Israelites back when we was in, uh, in our kingdom? And we was being wicked as hell, doing the same thing, being, you know, women with whores. They was worshiping Baal, celebrating Christmas. The Most High punished us. He had the Babylonians come through and just burn the whole damn city to the ground. And then over 500 years later, he had the Romans come through and burn it to the ground again. <laughs> so what do you think is going to happen to America? It's just going to get burnt to the ground. But when she had filled, filled her double, how much she had glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. For she says in her heart, I sit a queen in the will and the ice and shall see no sorrow. And you see everybody out here, they living deliciously, especially the women. They live in a fat life. That's why there's so many obese, fat women now. You know, they just walk around all sloppy, all fat rolls just popping out their clothes. Just got a proud ass spirit. You know what I mean? Don't have sex with two thousand men. It's just disgusting, man. But their logic is so much wrong with that. It's my business. It's my body. Yeah, it's their body. Just that's what they say when they go have an abortion. They call it women's health. Oh, I got the choice. It's my body, my choice. They love you. Know, they love to justify it. Here it is. When you have abortion in there, chopping the baby up into a bunch of pieces, pulling out a foot in the arm, you know, pulling out a little piece at a time. And I heard doctors say, do I heard ex-doctors say that they went, when they were performing the abortions, did they do a satan satanic ceremony while they perform the abortion? They said it's the only way they can legally get away with child sacrifice being a, a practicing Satanist. Because they say if they sacrifice the child after it's born, it's technically murder. But it, but if they sacrifice it while still in the womb, it's perfectly legal. Really, abortion, all that is, is the modern day satanic sacrifice. You just don't know it. That's why, uh, that's why the medical symbol, what's the, the medical symbol? It's the symbol of the seducius. You see that? Stab. Yeah, it's a stab. It, it's a, uh, the two snakes going up the stab with the wings on it, which goes back to Thoth. What well, that's his Egyptian name, his Greek name was Hermes. And that's what you call a devil. That's one of those ancient demons, you know what I mean? That, uh, one of those ancient pagan demons. So they used, you know, they sacrifice children to them, sacrifice animals to them. Right, it's been a good time because they see that symbol. Right, yeah, they see it. You know? And they tell you, like, the Hippocratic Oath, when you take that, you pledge allegiance to Apollo, Asclepius, and all the other gods. And all those so-called gods are actually devils. All them so-called pagan gods, those are demons. What you got? Okay, we'll go back to this. Okay, hold my tongue no more expressing their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. They, even, they wickedly exercise themselves. And they know they're doing wicked too, man. You can try to justify abortions all you want, but you know that's murder. You can justify being a hoe all you want, but when you get all them uh, herpes and warts and then you know you did something wrong, but you're going to keep doing it. You can't play stupid with the most high. Um, behold, the innocent and the righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Right, we out here complaining t continually. A righteous man will complain continually about all this wickedness out here. You will not be happy with the condition of our people in the state of how our people are living. Right now, we're living in filth. Ain't, ain't nothing like this gonna be existing in the kingdom of heaven. When we're in the kingdom, women ain't gonna be running around wild and crazy, you know what I'm saying, having orgies and having sex with a thousand men. It ain't gonna happen. Talking pro choice, bro. There ain't gonna be no porn hub in the kingdom of heaven, all right? <laughs> That's a nasty motherfucker. I'm here to support that message, man. No, they ain't gonna support that message. I'm here to go. Right 
Okay. I seen they did a study too, and they said women were more likely to watch male-on-male uh, -male homosexual porn. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Hell, we already know it's the fact they like bisexual men. They do. They prefer they bisexual like men. Yeah. They prefer. Instead of a straight man that's gonna keep shit in the board, that's gonna check them every once in a while, you know. Keep them, keep them in order, you know. Pretty much taking care of them. Right, right, right. You know right, what I mean? Right. But a fucking bisexual motherfucker, they know it's a thing. Fucking up a man. That gives her liberty to do whatever she wants. You know, so there's never no perfect bond there, you know. God damn, God damn, this is crazy, man. Woo! And therefore saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them uh, and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. <laughs> Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. Yeah, because our people, that, that's stupid. They don't know what they're doing. But they, they're so easily manipulated. They watch a movie. They watch all these movies. They listen to all this garbage music. And all that garbage music you listen to is influencing you. And, and it's pretty much manipulating you and controlling you. All the, like that, that Beyonce shit. What's that song she got? When she said, I'm sorry. She got a song telling you that you need to leave your man, you know what I mean? And that's the type of shit our people listen to. They know all the words to it. This is just wickedness. They, 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 they taking their instructions. They did. They, they taking. They being programmed. You know that's why a TV show is called a television program. They're programming you. And then they go to church because the pastor said so the Lord still loves you. Oh yeah. You know. Well, now they got homosexual pastors. Right. They go get spiritual back up too. Like your boy Eddie Long, he, he's having sex with little boys, and his re his reward for that was he got wrapped up with a Torah and they blessed him. Said so he was a great man of the Lord. Now he got more contested. That's, that's the booty hole. Yeah, that's probably from all them sperm swimming around in the asshole. That motherfucker lost so much weight, man. He looked terrible, man. He was terrible, man. Just like your boy Al Sharpton, look how much weight he lost. He does not look good. Looks sick. Look, he looks like he got AIDS. Looks sick. And they developing and look like they live in medication pills. Looking all dry and shit too. Yeah, you can see him. Yeah. That's all that nut he's been drinking and dried his ass out. That's right. All crusty ass sick. lips. He said, guarantee I'm going to live to 100. He said that? Yeah, he said, guarantee. And I told my parents, I'm guaranteed to live to 100. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. He really does. He looked like he got AIDS. Something wrong with that guy. So, all, all, yeah, because all these, all these top prominent leaders, they're all homosexual. That's part of the secret. Because if you want to be uh, big, famous, and successful in America, you got to be part of these secret societies and you got to be a homosexual. A and, and they got to get you on blackmail. We get this question every week. I know, right? I know. What, what's the difference? Well, I don't know where to start. <laughs> Put it this way. What, what I tell people, like, you're talking about the purple guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They still come out? I ain't seen them yet. Yeah, they're not the ones who are being on Yeah. They're scared of us. But uh, right. their leader, their whole organization, he's a detective for the NYPD. Okay. I mean, that's, that's all I need to know right there. Right. But we can go way deeper to show you everything okay. else. The main thing is uh, they're not uh, out here prophesying. Oh. Uh, the scripture says to be occupied in prophecy. Uh, okay? And some of the key prophecies is like the RFID chip. That made fun of them. Yeah, right. The RFID chip. Where's our sign? Give us the sign right here. Yeah, the, by, by the microchip. You want to go into it up? Yeah. Yeah, they make fun of us for teaching that because they're not allowed to teach that because they're under a 501c3 uh, tax and status with the government. So when you do that, you, uh, you, you gotta, you're not allowed to teach certain things. And they're not allowed to teach the, the true name of God either. They, they, they mock the name of God also. They call him Jesus Christ or uh, what do they call him? God and Christ. God, that's Christ, Christ, Christ. Yeah, that's not that's God. Not, God. Yeah. What is, what, what's your name for God? 
Well, the, the Bible, his name's in the Bible, well, the, the Most High's name's in the Old Testament, nearly 7,000 times in the Hebrew. The, his name is Yahweh, but they falsely pronounce it uh, Jehovah. But it's really pronounced Yahweh. Yahweh, it means he to be, he's the all existing one. What does Yah mean? Well, Yah is short for it. Yah means he. So that, you hear people say praise Yah, right? Hallelujah. Hallelujah means you praising Yah. You know what I mean? Hey, it, uh, it means he. It's him. That's the most high. But that's not his name. But that's a, that's a short I don't want one. Allah. Allah? Allah. Oh, Allah, that means to praise. To get praise. To praise. praise. Yeah, well, pra praise the most high. Yeah. So his name is the hour of the sun. Yes. And there's a scripture in the Bible, let me see if I can find it, where it says uh, the Father's name is in the Son's name. Okay, so where do you see that? Yahweh or whatever in Jesus. You that's the key. The right. name is the key. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, that's, a, you know, that's one of the most important things there is. Man. So, so do they come out here and they, they y'all debate, whatever? They won't talk to us. Like, we used to see them out here on Sundays, but they, they just avoid this. And we just being cool with it too. They just, you know, they just ignore us. We just want to ask them simple questions. Because they'll, they'll ridicule us okay. if we okay, have okay, a okay. So the U.S. government are terrorists. They're responsible for the fall of terrorist attacks in Oklahoma City. So the U.S. government did that? Yeah, you, you can just uh, get off Google, Google, bro. We could go for days on that. But yeah, I mean. I, I, I don't have a lot of time. I'm just, I'm just yeah, trying to yeah. get a, a quick overview over, you know, of what you all stand for. That's all. Okay, now this is the devil. Uh, Jesus is a Negro, not a white man. Okay, no Diablo. What's that? Yeah, they did, the 12 tribes. I mean, that's what we out here teaching. Okay, Jesus. Well, that's, that's nothing that I don't already know. Yeah, we I mean, you already, you already know the shit happened to Seth. You know, basically, uh, Ham. All of the races came out of shit and the Right. And it was all dark skin originally. What what the fact that migrated up to the Caucasus Mountains and then that's where the Caucasus or the white people. That's actually uh white people are not Japanese. Huh? The Japanese were really known for being in the islands. Well you did they did originally live up north. They got they got pushed out. But but that's where the pigmentation came from. Because all of them were actually that's not true. I can show you actually because uh, because uh, the, the Edomites were so-called white people, and they're from the Middle East and uh, modern, what is now known as Jordan, oh, you're Mount Seir. Right, but uh, came out of Shem Esau Shem. comes out of Shem. Oh, but three Esau three comes, brothers, three but, brothers, but they're from the, from the desert. But all of them were the same color. No, originally, yeah, yeah, originally. All of them, all of them were black. Yeah, even, yeah, even Jaffa was black. Exactly, all of them were. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, so where's the white people come from? Yeah, right. from Esau. Book of Genesis 4, 2, chapter 2. Okay. But not, you gotta understand, too, at the same time, you can't, uh, nationality is not based upon skin color either. Right. That's just a generalization. But, but what I'm talking about is, where did the color come from? Right, we got it. 24. Uh, uh, for her days to be delivered was fulfilled. Behold, there were twins in her room. When the first came out red, all over like a very garment, they called it that Esau. And after this, that came his brother out. No, 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 no. We're talking, we're talking way before then, man. Way before then. You're talking about Jacob. Right. I'm right. talking about way before Jacob. I'm talking about Shem. There wasn't. There wasn't. Okay, okay, no but white before then, there were no white people. Yeah. That's what I'm. Saying. This exactly. is where it started. Yeah. White people were before that. No, no, they weren't just one. And that was Paul, oh, that was that was uh, Cain. Yeah, Cain. He was yeah, he, Cain. The Cain, he was a black man at first, and after he did his wickedness, yeah. the Lord put that mark on him. He took his color away. Uh, now we can go into that also. We can go into that one. But I'm 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 we're not understanding with that. I know we, we know about the Jaffin thing though, the theory that but the but actually I'm gonna hit you with this. Where did Noah land after the flood? The that's mountains of Ararat. Where's that's, that where's that at? Where's that at? The caucus is mountains. So, you know what I mean? But he was, he was, it was all dark skin. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was dark skin. Because even Ham means burnt, you know what I mean? Right, right. So if he, if he was dark, his brother was dark. You know what I mean? 
So if, the, if one of them looked different, the Bible wouldn't specify and would have told you like, as it did with Esau. But the reason why, not, 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 not necessarily, the Bible wouldn't specify because it's irrelevant. Well, a lot of times it can't but, be, but sometimes it's not, it, 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 It's irrelevant, it's relevant to individuals who just want to have a conversation. Right. But it's irrelevant from the standpoint of nationality. It, it, it's irrelevant from the standpoint of salvation. It's irrelevant. But for somebody who wants to have a conversation. But, and there's more mysteries to be had, look. There's a scripture here on the, the plague of leprosy. Yeah. And it tells you how what some it Yeah, get that Leviticus 13 and 12. And, and it tells you about how Israelites would catch leprosy and they will turn all white. Well, I'm gonna say the same thing, Okay, but keep talking. What bus you drive? I'm doing the one here in the back. You know Guy Hill? Who? Did you know Guy Hill? Guy Hill? No. Leviticus 13 and 12. And if a leprosy break out of rock in the skin, and the leprosy cover all the skin of him. Yeah, okay. in the Bible there's multiple forms of leprosy. Uh -huh. There's different kinds. It doesn't refer to the modern leprosy where you know right. you know the disease leprosy. This is something different. But go ahead, read that. Leprosy over all the skin of him that has a plague from his head even to his foot. So if you're if you're covering with from your head to your foot, go ahead. Wherever the priest looking. Then the priest shall consider and know that the left knee has covered all his flesh. He shall pronounce him clean and have it clean. All, all turn white and he's clean. It's all turn. So you, your whole skin just changes. You say what happened to Michael Jackson. So what you're saying is this. You're saying that everybody who was put into the colony of lepers were all white. Well, it depends. Because, 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 There's different types of leprosy, because, though. Because, because, because you know what they have to go into that, uh, that separate room. Well, most separated. What, it, it, well, no, those were the unclean lepers. Because remember, this is a clean leper. The unclean leper is when you got the sores. But when you're a clean leper, you don't have to be separated. You're still amongst your people. Right. And, and so there's a difference. Hey, hey, bro, I got you. I got you. See, that's why I say there's more than one type of leprosy in the Bible. You got the clean leprosy, because sometimes it tells you about how somebody would get blonde hair. Uh -huh. And that's from the leprosy. We know the modern leprosy disease don't give people yellow or blonde hair. You know what I mean? It's talking about skin. You know, your skin change. Like I said, it happened to Michael Jackson. He actually, when they did an autopsy, they proved that he really had a skin disease. Okay. He literally, his skin color changed. You know what I mean? So it's possible. So a lot of our people, you know, we look here, different. I, 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 will, I will say this about you all. It was different than you, you all and, 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 the, and the other group. Uh, you are not as confrontational. Oh, really? And you, and you can, well, not necessarily. <laughs> you, can, you can have a, you can have a, uh, 